The philosophy behind the world's most effective prison systems is fundamentally different from the punitive approach prevalent in many countries. Notably, Norway's prison system exemplifies a commitment to rehabilitation and reintegration of inmates into society, a stark contrast to the more retributive models found elsewhere. Norway's system is built on the concept of restorative justice, aiming to rehabilitate offenders and reconcile them with society. This approach is underpinned by a belief in treating imprisonment as a deprivation of liberty alone, not a forfeiture of all rights and dignity. This philosophy extends to the architectural design and operational practices of prisons like Halden, which emphasize humane conditions conducive to personal growth and development. The focus is on maintaining inmates' connections with their communities, ensuring access to education, vocational training, and opportunities for meaningful work within the prison walls. The results of Norway's approach are compelling, with one of the lowest recidivism rates globally, only 20% of released prisoners re-offend within two years. This is significantly lower than rates observed in countries with more punitive systems, highlighting the effectiveness of focusing on rehabilitation. Norway's prisons, such as Halden and Bastoi, offer conditions that many would not typically associate with incarceration. These include single occupancy cells with ample amenities, extensive educational and vocational programs, and even the allowance of conjugal visits, all aimed at preparing inmates for a successful reintegration into society. The underlying principle of Norway's system is treating prisoners with respect and humanity, acknowledging that the loss of freedom is the punishment, not the prison conditions. This ethos is supported by a comprehensive training program for prison staff, focusing on building constructive relationships with inmates and conflict resolution, rather than strict discipline and control. However, replicating Norway's success in other contexts is challenging. Factors such as societal support for rehabilitative justice, economic resources, and broader social welfare systems play significant roles in the feasibility and effectiveness of such approaches. The high cost of incarceration per inmate in Norway, significantly above that in countries like the United States, underscores the investment required to sustain a rehabilitative prison system. In summary, the design philosophy of modern and progressive correctional facilities, exemplified by Norway, places a strong emphasis on rehabilitation, education, and maintaining connections with society. This approach not only aids in reducing recidivism, but also supports the reintegration of former inmates as productive members of society. The success of such systems prompts a reevaluation of incarceration's goals, suggesting a shift from punishment to rehabilitation could yield significant societal benefits.